hello a warm welcome to the most authoritative sporting channel here on social media that's your boy man today's episode promises to be very very exciting as i'll be talking about two special talents in the world of boxing terence who has cemented his legacy by becoming two division undisputed champion and chasing his third division and august 13th he would be involved in an unification fight against Madridov, whilst jerome booth ennis a man who is trying to make a legacy and cut a path for himself and become a future hall of famer who recently beat david avenisiem after he won the vacant ibf title which terence buck crawford vacated now these two guys have similar styles and 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 a fight with both of them is promising to be quite exciting but terence buck crawford has stated categorically that jerome booth ennis is not on his plan he doesn't bring in much money and he doesn't have the legacy that he is chasing as at this time but when it comes to the finances his excellency Turkey al sheikh would take care of that but would that be enough to sway the mind of terence buck crawford to look in the direction of jerome booth ennis i'll be coming up with all that in this particular episode so do me a favor by hitting the subscribe button press the bell icon express your views in the comment section which is very very important i want to know your take and share this particular video with anyone who enjoys boxing now his excellency techie al sheikh has taken to twitter to say i just reached out to boxer jerome ennis and eddie hen to congratulate him on his win i'd like to see ennis in fight with crawford at 154 soon yes and he has the maybe boxing and the fire emoji in addition to the words now i think that it will be a very good fight by all standards i think terence is the more superior fighter but one thing that can beat a superior fighter is hunger and Jerome Booth Ennis is a hungry fighter at the moment. He is also a younger fighter at the moment and he is also a bigger fighter at the moment. He is also quite athletic as Terence Buck Crawford. So this fight is a great matchup just that Terence Buck Crawford has that championship and that elite experience more than Jerome Booth Ennis. So it's a very, very interesting matchup. But Terence Buck Crawford has stated Jerome is not on his radar as he is chasing to become a three division undisputed champion and and that is the 154 division a division in which jerome booth ennis has never fought in well that what would make terence buck crawford look in the way of jerome booth ennis since the finances would surely be taken care of by his excellency Taylor techie arshik then i think that eddie hand and his team must make jerome booth ennis fight a champion at the 154 division and get a title that would force the hand of terence buck crawford to face jerome booth ennis in a unification fight in order for him to achieve his dream if not terence buck crawford is looking forward to becoming undisputed at 154 and then face saul canelo avarice it seems that saul canelo avarice fight would be quite difficult to be made but i think that if Jer uh, if if Terence Buck Crawford beats and become undisputed at the 150, 154 division, it will force the hand of Saul Canelo Alvarez to look his way because that would be undisputed versus undisputed. And he, Canelo, beating though a smaller man by a three division undisputed champion, that would be adding something to his legacy. So I think that that is the strategy of Tim Crawford, and it would be difficult for the Ennis fight to happen if Ennis is not having a championship belt at 154. And besides that, Terence Buck Crawford has not automatically overcome Madridov. So saying or passing all this kind of comment means that Terence Buck Crawford is the house favorite, which is obvious, and there might be something fishy on the night if the fight ends up being close terence buck crawford would end up being given the nod but we all know that terence buck crawford has never been in a close fight if he goes the decision 
he wins those fights emphatically and he also makes sure more more often than not he stops his opponent and the common opponent these two have in common is david avenizia and jerome booth ns stopped david avenizia on the stool whilst terence buck crawford knocked him back out in the sixth round so this is an opponent who can give a fair assessment of both but i remember eddie hand calling terence buck crawford a cherry picker when he faced david avenizia about two years ago but he praised eddie uh sorry his fighter who is jerome booth ns of being a world-class fighter after he has beaten um John Booth, uh, after he has beaten David Avenizia, but I think that David Avenizia put in a, a, a brief performance against John Booth Ennis per the skill set, he showed guts and grit, but the power, the speed, the athleticism of John Booth Ennis was just too much for him. But two years ago, he was a better fighter than he is today, and and Terence Buck Crawford finished him off in the sixth round. I think that the Terence Buck Crawford fight holds much more meaning than that the jerome booth ns fight the jerome booth ns fight was also a late call up while the terence buck crawford fight he had enough time to prepare for terence buck crawford this this time around he came in as a replacement for collie who had a retina injury and was not going to be approved by the uh philadelphia athletic commission that is why they had to replace him with david avenizia and i think that um the fight was good general booth and it gave a good account of himself but terence buck crawford beat a better version of david avenizia so my advice to team booth is that they should go into the 154 division secure a world title and force the hand of terence buck crawford because terence buck crawford has stated that he is no more in this game for money that is before the Errol Spence fight. He stated if he was not going to get the Errol Spence fight, he was going to retire because he has made smart investments that could last him a lifetime. And with the 10 years gap difference, I think that Jerome Booth Ennis would come into this particular fight as slight favorite or as close favorite. And Terence Buck Crawford will need so much motivation in order to get into the ring with him because Jerome is the hungrier fighter and nothing beats a hungry fighter now that was my take for this particular episode i think it would be a good fight i would love to see it but team boots must give terence buck crawford something he wants and that is the legacy at the 154 division thank you for watching stay positive if you have not subscribed to this point please this is the right time to hit the subscribe button press the bell icon express your views in the comment section and share with friends and family thank you